Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. On this video here, uh, I got a call from a guy that I used to work for years ago. And I haven't heard from him in a while. And uh, he called me in regards to his air conditioning. He, was, he wasn't uh, too happy with this guy that he had to go over there and do the service. Um, he had this guy over there to go over and do some service that did the install. And he says, oh, this guy must be on drugs and stuff because I asked him to come over and do the service. He come over, took the filters out, and the guy demanded cash from me. He says, I want cash. I want cash. He wouldn't take a check. And uh, the guy never returned with the with the filters, um, you know. So he called me over there and says, if I could go over there and, you know, check the systems out. And uh, they seem to be working okay. But he's not sure about the guy that did the installs and stuff. So I went over there and... Uh, I got two systems, one on the first floor, and uh, I ran out and got some filters. They have a, a, the Goodman uh, odd size filters, uh, 19 by 21. And when I looked at the air handler down in the basement, um, had no trap on it. Uh, the overflow pot had a little elbow coming up that was open, so it was sucking air into there. And, um, you know, it's missing a couple of caps on the side because. When you have, um, when you're pulling through an A coil or an evaporator, it has to be trapped. Uh, you can't have any opens in there because it's going to suck air in, and then you're going to end up with, you know, water in the return, and it's not going to work right. So that's why we put a trap on uh, an evaporator. If it's if it's before the fan, you have it has to be trapped. Now, if you have an A coil, say you got a furnace, you got A coil on top, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be trapped because it's pushing out. Uh, you know, just so you guys know about that. So anyway, then after I checked the charge on this unit, it had non-combustibles in the system. You could see that the head pressure like going like between 350 and 410, 350 and 410. So I got it on video. I want to show you guys. Um, I told him I got to go back over there, reclaim all the refrigerant, and pull a good vacuum on it and recharge it because there's non-combustibles in the system. It is cooling. Uh, it, you know, it's not running the way it should, and I just didn't have time to, to pull all the gas out of it. Uh, when I get a little bit more time, probably next week. Now, there's another system on the second floor. Let's look at this. There's another system on the second floor. Um, he's got a colonial type of house, and he said, the guy opened up. I wanted to go up there and see if that system had a trap on it or how it was installed and whatnot. So I go upstairs, I look at the filter grow return, you know, the guy had put a new filter in at the homeowner uh, um, on the second floor. And I said, well, where's the access port to get into the attic so I could check the unit out? So he says, uh, there is none. They they had to cut a hole in the ceiling to bring the unit up. And then the carpenter came and, uh, you know, she rocked it again. I said, what do you mean there's no access port to get into the attic to check the air handler? So we went upstairs, we looked through all the bedrooms, you know, all the closets. The flipping idiot doesn't have no access to the air handler. So I said, you're going to get a cop in the Roby and cut a port in so I can get up there and see. I want to see if the guy even put a trap on this thing. Um, you know, I did throw my gauges on a second floor unit. I didn't show it on here. It, it, you know, it seemed to be okay. It was definitely, um, you know, cooling. Uh, you know, I want to check it out again when I when I get over there. I want to see what's going on with that unit. But this, gonna, this is going to be the continued uh, video. But I just figured I'd, I'd bring it. It's kind of like. Some of the shit you see out there, uh, it's pretty bad. But it's important to pull a good vacuum on a system, and uh, you know you can't have you can't have non condensables in the air conditioning system. It's not going to work right. It's you know what it's going to do is it's going to kill the compressor. Um, you know it's not good because especially with these new compressors, the 410A's got the PoE oil. It sucks up the moisture, man. It it, it really the oils aren't as good. The old oils were better. Put it that way. Uh, to deal with, uh, mo no, moisture is never a good thing in the system, period. Uh, but it's important to pull a good vacuum. That's all I'm going to say. And, um, you know, that's why I'm bringing the video. So I'm going to help a couple of young guys. Goodman, you handle What's wrong with this picture? No filter. We'll see what the coil looks like. The coil looks clean in there. Huh. 
19 by 21. I got some filters. I bought them four. So we'll put the filters in and then we'll clean this up. Put a trap in there like that. Cap on that, and I gotta rework this strain. if you have to. Looks a tight fit. It won't work. Look at that. Yeah. I was cut. What part's going in the pump on an angle? Elbow 45 and then right into the elbow. So I'm going to do it. on that side. This will unclog, this will pop right off. Put um, either vinegar or bleach down there. This will pop right off if I want to get to it. It's a rubber, rubber hose, a trap. And I'll run 45 down and then I'm going to cut that piece on an angle. It's not all the way in the bottom. So, I'll be fine like that. No filter. Got three extra filters here. 19 by 21. That's a weird size. I'll put them right here. Poor guy. Right there. Alright, now we'll go outside and check the charge. It's about what you want to have it, but you see how the head pressure is changing? It's not combustibles in the system. It's definitely cooling, but... See how the head pressure is going back and forth?
over a mill. Well, I gotta come back on this one and um, reclaim all the refrigerant and pull a good vacuum on it. This one on the second floor seems to be okay. I can't get access to the second floor because there's no access port. Um, he's going to have a cop in the cut one in. I want to check for a P-trap on this unit. This is the one on, in the basement that I fixed. But uh, when I get some time, I'll come back and reclaim all the refrigerant and do a fresh charge.